Teacher Christine here. Today's lesson, we will be talking about motion. Let's start. It seems that everything is moving from the time you wake up until you go to sleep. All our activities involve movement. We have to move in order to complete our task. Just like the man walking or a car moving in the street. Motion will always be a part of our daily life. What is motion? Motion is referred to as change of an object's position as caused by force. Force, on the other hand, is a push or a pull. When there is movement, there is motion. There can be no motion without a force or set of forces. Forces help us in our daily activities. Without them, no motion can be achieved. Without motion, we cannot do work and enjoy life. Motion is also a change in position with respect to a reference point. Reference point is a fixed place, background, or an object used to determine the position of an object. Look at the moving bus with children inside it. They are the passengers. Can you tell if they are moving? If the reference point is the ground outside the bus, they are moving. But if the reference point is the floor of the bus, they are not moving. It is because they are still inside the bus. This time, look at the pencils or pens in the before and after picture. Did the pencils move? If the reference point is the pile of books, the pens change in position. Why? In the before picture, those pens are on top of the books. But in the after picture, those are beside the books. Now, if the reference point is the pen holder, the pencils did not change position for they are still inside the pen holder. Did the car move? The answer is yes. If the reference point is the tree, it changed its position. Motion of an object can be measured by computing for its speed. Speed is the measure of how fast or slow an object moves. There are two elements covered, the distance or length and time. These are important factors in measuring motion. The formula in computing speed is speed is equal to distance divided by time. You can also write it as S is equal to D over T. Remember that distance is the measurement of space between objects. It tells how far or how near two points are from one another. While time is the amount it takes an object to travel a certain distance. The metric system of measurement is the world standard for measurement. Having a standard unit of measurement makes it easier for scientists and other people to understand each other's data. The units for distance that we can use are millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, meter, which is the standard unit, decameter, hectometer, and kilometer. In time, we can use second, minute, hour, day, week, month, and year. For distance, centimeter is used to measure short distances, while kilometer is used 
for longer distances. Fourth time, second is used to measure shorter time, while hours is used to measure longer time. In science, measurements must be exact. There are tools used to measure distance and time accurately. For distance, we have ruler, tape measure, and meter stick. To measure time, we have wristwatch, pocket watch, wall clock, pendulum, digital clock, calendar, and hourglass. How to compute for the speed? For example, if a bicyclist travels 30 kilometers in 2 hours, what is his speed? To be able to compute for the speed, we have to identify the given data. We have 30 kilometers. Remember, the unit used is kilometers. So it is referring to distance. Then we have 2 hours. Hours is the unit for time. After analyzing the data, we have to look for the question. So the question is, what is his speed? So we will be looking for speed. In our solution, we will going to use the formula in computing speed, which is speed is equal to distance divided by time. So supply now the given data. Distance is 30 kilometers, while time is 2 hours. So we have S is equal to 30 kilometers divided by 2 hours. 30 divided by 2 is 15. And then copy the units. We have kilometer slash hours. That slash thing for the unit of distance is read as per. So we have S is equal to 15 kilometers per hour or simply km per hr or kph. For addition information, we have here the term velocity which refers to as speed with direction. Just like what we have in our example. In speed... We have 120 kilometers per hour. For velocity, you are going to add the direction. So we have 120 kilometers per hour west. Another example for speed, we have 60 uh, meter per second. In velocity, it will become 60 meter per second north. And then we have 42 miles per 2 minutes for speed. And in velocity, we have 45 miles per 2 minutes southeast. So remember, speed is simply how fast you are traveling. Well, velocity is speed in a given direction. Then, if you were to compute the time and distance, just remember this triangle diagram where D stands for distance and S for speed and then T for time. Remember the position of each letter because that will determine the, the operation you will use for computing your data. If you are looking for distance, you have to multiply speed and time. If you are going to compute for the time, you have to, to divide distance to speed. And then we have speed as discussed here in our lesson. Now, let's have our activity. Identify the given units if speed, time, distance, or velocity so we have centimeter okay that is the unit for distance centimeters per second 
that is the unit for speed. Miles per hour. That is also a unit for speed. 365 days. So the unit use is days. Okay, it is the unit that tells time. Kilometers. It is the unit used for distance. 25 miles per second north. Okay, that is the unit for velocity. Inches. That is the units for distance. Months. It's a unit that tells time. 55 meter per hour south. It is velocity. Century. It is a unit that tells time. I hope you learned something for today. Remember, whatever you do, do for the glory of God. Bye!